Hi, my name's Don, and I'm here at Cisco Seeds, and it's mid-December 2021. And this time of year is a good time to evaluate your seeds and your stash of seeds. And we have a seed company, so I actually have a whole room full of seeds, actually two rooms, but a lot of people might keep their seeds in something like this. And the name of the game when it comes to seed storage is cool, dark, and dry. So a garage might be a good area. You might want to keep some kind of desiccant, like if you ever get vitamins or herbs or something, you could take that silicon gel and put it in a container like this. Um, but the key is to keep them cool, dark, and dry once again. So that for me, I have mine categorized by different uh, species. So this is my peppers, chilies, and eggplants in this container. And what I wanted to talk about right now is helping shed some light on how long do seeds last? Because certain seeds can last a really long time. In general, large seeds like corn, beans, and squash can last a really long time, whereas small, light seeds like carrots or lettuce might only last two or three years, even in ideal conditions. So for instance, I'm not gonna go through all of this, but I've picked out a couple highlights. And from my own collection, uh, I try and label the variety, you know, it's my own packet. Uh, Hungarian black, I know these are chilies because they're in this and I have familiar, but if you're not sure, you should write down that they are. And then I have a lot code on here, Seven Seeds Farm 15. So I know those ones are from that year. Um, and it, it's good if your packets aren't clearly labeled from wherever you got them to develop a system so that you know. So these ones here, they say 16 DBF, which is Dancing Bear Farm. Um, this one here, you can use coin envelopes if you do your own seed saving. Uh, Ahi Dulce Peppers, Seven Seeds Farm 2020. So we grew those last year. Here's some from 2015, uh, eggplant seed. Um, and if, if they're dry, it's totally possible and under good conditions to keep seed for a long time. So this one, interestingly enough, this is from 2012. So this is nine year old seed, but last December, a year ago, it was still germinating at 83%. These are red ruffled pimento sweet peppers. And so when you buy packets, we try and put our germination, the last germination test on the packet. So these Chioga beets here, they on December of 2020, so a year ago, they were still germinating at 91%. Um, I'll select another one here. This mescaline mix was germinating at 99% a year ago. And uh, here's a parsley that was 93%. So, but typically, most seed companies don't do it that way. And there are a few exceptions of how we do it, so I thought I'd use one as an example. When you buy seeds at a garden center or something, they will say packed for 2021. So for instance, when you look here at the bottom of this packet, you can see that it just says packed for 2021. So for any seed company here in the USA, you're either required to say packed for the given year, which implies that you've done a germination test, or put the germination rate, which we tend to do on most of ours because that's helpful information for people that are inquisitive about that. And we maintain our own germination laboratory here where every November, December typically is when we do it. We perform germination tests on every variety that we sell to make sure that it will grow and because we don't want to sell seed that is not up to snuff. And when you put the germination rate on a packet, just to let you into the rules, we're allowed to sell that seed by the USDA federal germination standards for 15 months, as opposed to the obviously packed for the calendar year is a 12 month cycle. So one thing that may be a little confusing is when something says packed for 2021, it was not grown in 2021. It could have been grown many years before, and as long as the seed's still germinating well, like I shared that example of those red ruffled pimento peppers, wherever they went, and these ones were still germinating pretty well, even though it's now nine-year-old seed. So we were still selling this seed, little insider secret, last year, eight-year-old seed was still germinating at 83%. 
and that's um, above the federal germination standard for sweet peppers. So for yourself, when you go through your seeds, if you have, for instance, lettuce seed that is five years old, you might not uh, really want to rely on that seed. That might be a good time for you to get more seed for that. And in general, small light seeds do not last as long because you can think about it in a way. A seed is a little encapsulated you know, time capsule, if you will, and a smaller seed will dry out more quickly and desiccate and die, particularly if you don't have very good storage conditions. So something like old lettuce seed, you could direct seed and just see how it goes. But for myself, there's not many things as frustrating as planting seed, expecting it to come up and it doesn't. So you want to have viable, strong seeds. We do our best here at Cisco Seeds, managing our own germination laboratory to always have our seeds being vigorous and fresh as possible and vital. So I'll include a chart uh, both here in the video and a link in the bottom uh, that tells you seed life and another link about a video uh, for seed storage, uh, which we expand uh, more details about how that works. So hopefully this helps you be efficient in your seed buying and know which seeds uh, in your stash are still good to go. Uh, for the next year or ones that it's time to replace. So happy winter and all the best to your gardening efforts. Thanks.